don't get old. The golden years should be called the rusty years. These are all so many common sayings that as PTs we hear all day long. I'm physical therapist Katie Wolfley. Many of my patients struggle with osteoarthritis or joint pain, which is just a common breakdown, wear and tear of our joints that can happen over time. But why doesn't it happen to all of our joints? And why does it happen to some individuals who are in their 30s and 40s and not to those who are in their 70s? Well, the most commonly impacted joints that we see osteoarthritis found in are the knees, hips, and the spine. And all of those have a common link. That is the hip stabilizers, AKA your gluteal muscles. So these muscles can provide support to the joints above and below, hence to the spine and to our knees and then the hips. When we keep these strong, we can prevent or slow down that wear and tear process because we'll have good gait mechanics. We move through bending and functional movements a little bit easier. And when we don't, those can add to the cycle of bad habits and a breakdown of those joints. So other muscles also like our quads, our hamstrings and our calves do also help work to build strength and support those joints. So have no fear. We have one easy exercise that you can try to start to build the strength in those muscle groups and especially those glutes to help prevent the breakdown of those joints. This exercise is a lateral lunge. If we start with our feet together, making it very dynamic, we can work through moving out to the side, stepping wider than hip width, and shifting our weight over towards the lunging leg. I'm gonna straighten this knee and bend this one, making sure that I can look down and see the majority of my shoe, which means my knee is staying over top of that ankle. I'm sticking my butt back and I can feel that I'm working a lot more through this glute and back hip more than my thigh. If I push my knee forward, that feels a little bit more like some knee pressure and more work to my quad, but we wanna strengthen those glutes, so stick the booty back and then you can stand up, bring the feet together. We'll perform 10 of these going out to the right and out to our left, working through possibly two to three sets of 10 to really build up the strength and endurance in those muscles. If you find that that is a little too much for you, maybe we start with our feet statically and we just work in shifting over to one side, back up to center and shifting over to the other side. We wanna find that we're working within a range that our joints are comfortable with and does not create pain. So if you're already struggling with osteoarthritis, take smaller steps, just make sure that you're sticking the hips back and work through that bigger range of motion through our hip to strengthen those glutes. Again, trying two to three sets of 10 through this movement on the left and the right. So try this exercise to get the ball rolling. If you're struggling with it or you're finding that, you know what, I want an individualized approach because I feel I need more content, then get in touch with us. Get on the schedule of one of our many therapists throughout all of our locations and we'll get you started to get your life back Find us at buffalorehab.com.